Hey everyone. So I figured since I just drew Robin, I'll have to definitely draw Raven. And this should be another fun one. I love these Teen Titans requests. I get a lot of them too. Uh, so basically, I'm gonna, it'll be a fairly simple pose, straightforward, but you know, with her character, it's very important you capture the, her, her mood, you know, that face of hers. So I'm gonna start with just getting the basic structure down first. So start this real simple circle shape. Let's start with this. And once again, I'm using a B. I've been loving this pencil. I can't stress enough. This pencil has been so good. And she's got this long face. It kind of, with her face, it kind of comes down and goes up like that. So you have this shape. Like, you know, like they said, the character's anime style. But So start with this real simple shape for that. So just put a little line straight in the middle, just so you got the face uh, where it's going to go, and then a line right about here. So this is a very, very standard uh, head shape. Then what makes her so different is, you know, lots of dark black areas for the shadows. But for the body, see how I'm just making the neck. Her it's kind of this real s simple shape too, like this triangular shape going up. You know, you just want to get the body in. And normally, uh, normally I would draw the whole body, like I'd sketch it. But being that this side has the the uh, cape thing, I keep trying to think of the proper name. Uh, I would recommend just drawing this real simple line going down. And the main reason, two reasons why I do that rather than drawing behind it. Normally, you always want to draw all the shapes. The, even if you have clothes over it, you always want to start with your basic shape so you know. But the reason for this case is because it's such a simple pose. It's a straightforward, you know, as simple as you can get. So you don't really need, you know, once you understand just the cloth and things, you don't really need to go and draw the shapes under that much in depth. You can see I'm just drawing the cape. And then the way it kind of, I hope that makes sense. Then you have this shape. I'm going to go fairly quickly. And this dips down, dips up here. And then it just uh, comes up this way. And that will all be in darkness. And comes in here. Then you have a circle, the pendant shape. I'll connect it's about that big or so. And I'm doing it my own, like I always say, kind of my own interpretation of the character, the way I'm feeling today, John. You know, you have this cape opens up. I'm using a reference, so I'm also just going at it. And then for the body, you'll see part of the breast here, and you can see where the body is. Be about right there, a part of the breast shape. Then I'll come in real skinny, then come back where the hip is. She has that one piece kind of thing, and then the leg, where the leg will come down. Hope that shows on camera. Let me check. Yeah, for the most part, showing. Let me just slide up. See where I line up. So that. Then the arm, arm be here, just real simple arm shape, just making sure I got everything correct here, just got the little sleeves on the arms, no, just real simple hand shape. Let's start with the face. Or right, the eyes sit. Her hair goes over her face and kind of cuts inward. 
And she's got like this very flat hair where it's not a lot of lines. It's very kind of simple. And so I'm just sketching this and it comes up and it meets the middle like this. See how it just arches like this little M shape arches up. And notice where we started that first line, how it's all the way on the top there. Then it just curves all the way around her head. Being that there's a breeze in this one, this part very subtly just lifts up. You have the back of her hair. Just like that. You can make this a little lower so it doesn't interfere with that too much. And for the eyes. See so how that kind of just curves like that. And for the eye shapes. I'm going to start with just the basic mass. I'm just making one little eye there. I'm kind of not worried about the shape right now. You're just getting the size of, that it's going to fit in there. That way you have that all proportioned out. Nose, real simple one. Like that. Now you know she's always got that little mouth. Always ser serious for the most part. And for the eyes, straight horizontal. Like that, kind of horizontal here, it leans down a little and just comes up, arches down. This is where you want to really focus your time on because it's, you know, her eyes are what makes this character, her, her emotion, the face. Like down on the bottom, the same little thing. These kind of curve more. I'm going to go back with the mechanical pencil, get the detail, and then the eyes. Fairly big pupil shapes. And you can see what, how it's forming now. And make sure you always get the pupils the same size when it's straight in the front view. That little diamond shape. And that sits right about here. Like that. Then another eyebrow shape. The eyebrows are almost as long as almost as long as the eyes themselves. So you just want to make that. I'm just marking the points. Don't worry about the fish quality right now. And come in. Jump around different parts. And then here it'll be all black. So what I'm going to do is make dark lines. You can put an X. A lot of people put X's so they know to go back in and fill it dark. But in this kind of situation, I would remember. So just bring the cloth lines. Now you can start to make it darker. A circle shape. And another circle within that. It's got another circle there. I'm just going to drape down the cape. You can see, you know, kind of how cloth. If you haven't, I did a tutorial on how to draw clothes and things. And you know, cloth always makes creases and things from your anchor point. This would be the anchor point. So you have to think of the way it stretches. And it sounds very, very simple in theory, but I mean, if you look at freaking, uh, you, you look at the, the Renaissance statues and things, oh my gosh. It, it blows you away, like all the creases they put, the depth, the folds of fabric, I mean, Seriously, you could spend a whole, I really think a whole three years just mastering uh, cloth and fabric. So, so like I said, it's a real simple in theory. See, you just have to think like wherever there's a point holding it, it's stretching, it's pulling. It's like, you know, when you pull taffy, it makes those lines. So it's just real, you know, you don't have to go in depth studying it, but just enough to know how fabric works. So let's see, I'm coming in. Here's where the breast is. Ok, 
sure I'm right sure I'm in the right spot. Now where it gets skinny at the waist and comes out the arm. And then behind here, you have more. All behind here, you're going to have the black so you can make X's. I'm going to go back, but that's where the, the cape is going to be the fabric. I'm just going at it now. Let's see how it looks. And she has, this is a good question. I got a question for everyone, please. What are these circle things, these pendants she wears? There's one that shows it around her waist. I don't know if they ever told in the series or I missed something. But please, please, someone's got to tell me what are they. Please, I beg of you. This is another mystery I have. So you see, just draw these little pendants. They go here and they connect just like that. Right, so this comes in. Real simple. Then her leg here. So please someone tell me. I can't say it enough. Her leg, then arm. I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, and then on the arm. She has this thing. Kind of arm wrist thing. Then where the hand connects. She's got another one of the circles. Pendants. Then for a hand shape, real simple. They kind of, the way their fingers are in the series kind of ends in a flat, uh, horizontal line kind of shape. So something like that it would look like. Uh, and really take your time sketching it. Hands are important, you spend time. You know, I'm pretty happy with how that looks. But I'm feeling more and more comfortable. Uh, uh, please don't think I'm like. Please don't think I'm sound like I'm bragging or anything. But if you look, and this this kind of truth, this is why I've been improving. I feel so much more comfortable when it comes to drawing on the camera and drawing for all of you. Uh, and that's why I recommend uh, if, if you're new here and you're just checking out my videos, I recommend definitely checking out all the newer ones first. Mainly because, you know, you could see a huge improvement. You know, when I was first starting out, it was kind of an experiment uh, to see how I would draw, how, how to get the camera set up. And so now it's kind of where it's like I feel the most comfortable. I kind of making sure the quality is the best I've done. So I'm sorry from the past I haven't done two. You no, know, I haven't made some that were flops. But, uh, like I said, definitely check out all the newer ones. I feel like the newer ones are where where the finished quality and things are a lot much better. Then I'm just coming in with the mechanical. And I love this pencil. Uh, recommend getting it. Definitely, definitely get this pencil. It's on Amazon. Fairly cheap, considering the quality. But it's the Statler Mechanical. And it looks like this. It's got the little brown clip thing. I, I absolutely love this. It's just glides. It's over the hair, you know, back back in this day you just want to make little things. And, and like I was saying too before, uh, I have so much I need to work on and improve on. Like it's, but I'm really happy with just, whoa, jeez, I hit my head on the camera, ouch, I'm in the stand. Like that, and then let's finish up the eye shape. So the eye, you got the pupil, and basically you have a reflection, and this thing is there, and then another real dark pupil in the middle. And then another... I mark there, people in the middle. And you may also be noticed, I am taking my time doing these these drawings tonight. I'm trying not to rush and really, really take the time. So eyebrow kind of comes in and notice how it gets wider at the ends of the eyebrows. Very similar to the eyes themselves. You know, just darkening these lines. The, out in the middle. I 
like that. Darkening this. And just a little, see how a little touch of shadow creates lips. Uh, that's something I can't stress enough, you know. Little shadows and just little things that aren't actually lines can make a huge difference. So behind here, you just want to make it as dark as you can. So in here, just pure black. Yeah, just take real dark light. I'm still sticking with this. So just shade that in. Like that. I'm just going to go back and finish it up. Erase some of the lines. This gets darkened in. Like that. Now for the face, you want to make sure uh, it's not overworked. Cause she's got a very simple face, so erase any of those guidelines. And, oh my gosh, you can see how it's looking at This is awesome. To... Erase the guidelines, especially the hair. But you can see how important God. Oh my gosh, it's here, yeah, baby. You can see how important guidelines are. Uh, but you can also see when you erase. Oh my gosh, I can look. But you can also see how once you get rid of the guidelines, the difference it makes. So uh, use the guidelines, use those shapes, and always, re always remember though, don't overwork things. That's I can't stress that enough. A lot of people, mainly, not something I need to work on too. But sometimes when you have guidelines still in place, people will overwork an eye or a line or any facial feature and they'll overwork it, erase it, overwork it. And the reason is sometimes mainly because those guidelines might be throwing you off a little and that's sometimes the case with me when it comes to the guidelines. Guidelines! Why do you have to throw me off? I know you want to help me, but all you do is hurt me. Oh yeah, guidelines! I'm just doing the jewel here. And last but not the least, that's pretty much it. All you gotta do is uh, erase any more sketchy lines. And uh, I'm gonna finish it up with this. All you got left to do, and you can do it on your own, be that you got the shapes. Just shade the hair in with your pencil, uh, shade the, ca the ca cape, make sure back here is very very dark where I put those two X's, her costume's dark and ultimately the rest is I leave it in your hands my friend you must finish this and thanks everyone for watching this was great uh, please leave comments below and also send me your drawing I want to see how your raven drawing came out thanks everyone see you guys